YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Monday thrift haul for you. Went to both of my savers, didn't find a huge amount of stuff, but you know how it is. Some days it's a hit, some days it's a miss. And I found some good items, including some uh, larger plus size tops, which I put on eBay. Um, by the time you see this video, I'm usually a week behind on my videos. Not a week, not intentionally, of course but it helps things get put up. <clears throat> so I wanted to show you what I got. Uh, if you are interested in any of the tops, let me know and I will let you know if they are listed on eBay or not. So let's jump right in. Got a couple of signs today. This one was kind of cool. It is wood boards and it looks like a printing of an old uh, like hardware, like, you know, Main Street kind of thing. This is a... Um, Hobby Lobby piece. Uh, the price on the back, which I'm not going to flip it over because I have a puzzle underneath that I'm starting to work on. This was $6.99, so it was essentially $3.50 because everything in my savers in my neck of the woods is half price on Mondays. So that was a pretty good pickup. I'm sure someone will enjoy that. And then this one is uh, $3. It was $5.99 and then half. It's a pretty decent size sign. It says, meals and memories are made here. Very adorable. Somebody will love that for their kitchen. Uh, this was in a bag. It was $2, and it's a kissing salt and pepper frog shakers. Just never know what you're going to find at the thrift store. This I was pretty happy to get. Um, I do sell um, cutting boards if they are unusual or different. This one actually is from World Market. This is hand wash, and it doesn't have an original price on it, but I only paid one dollar. So yeah, it looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it uh, looks like a schnauzer maybe, so that will go in my booth. Um, I'm forgetting to say how much I'm going to put on these. That I'll probably put 10 to 12. This one probably 12 to 14. This one probably 6 or 7. I got a clock. It was $2.50, has this wicker and metal. Uh, I do sell clocks pretty frequently in my booth. This one I uh, have not tested yet, but I would say nine out, of nine out of 10 times they work. You know, once in a while you get that one that just, I don't know, just doesn't work. But for $2.50, it was a good bet. So that will go in my booth for probably, I would say eight to $10. These, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them as like a vase filler or a container, like a glass bowl filler, or if I would put them on eBay. These are, looks like handmade um, fabric yarn, some different designs. These were only $1.50. Um, I have sold some of these on eBay in the past, but they were very old, very vintagey. Um, that they used for rugs and such. Uh, those sold for $60 to $70. And I still have a couple of those lots left. Uh, remember, my eBay store is in the description box. So if you want to look and see kind of what things I got, that would be fine. This, I'm sure, was made for a... Uh, somebody made it. Was for a desk or paper or something. Um, I only paid a dollar. Let's see, who made this? LD. So what I'm probably going to do is I go to the dollar store and I buy the little wool scrubbers for the kitchen. I will put that in there and sell it as a scrubby holder. You know, you see the ones with the frogs and their mouth is open. I pick those up all the time. They sell every day of the week for six to eight dollars, depending on the com condition of them. This I'll probably put five or six dollars with the scrubby in it. You can get the scrubbies at a dollar store. I think there's three in a package for a buck, so not too bad. Only found one piece of fabric that I liked. This has probably got at least, I'd say, three yards on it. It was only $1.50. Kind of the fall cornucopia. It's got pumpkins and sunflowers and uh, grapes, etc. So that will go in my booth. I sell my fabric for $3 a yard. Um, I have a workspace upstairs. I have my desk and then I have a work area and I have a, uh, I have a, you know, one of these just basic plastic flannel, uh, backed, uh, tablecloths and it's getting kind of torn up. So I got this one. It was only a dollar. It is a 52 by 70, an oblong one, which fits that. I think it's a five or six foot table. 
So that will go upstairs. So that's for me. This is actually a project piece. Um, if you remember, if you watched me for any length of time, I bought some burlap sacks. Gosh, I don't even know if it was this summer or the previous summer. I've been wanting to get like a little tufted stool or a little stool like this to cover it with that coffee, that burlap coffee bag. This one has like a library theme. It's not too bad, actually. The legs are a little bit banged up. So I will paint the legs and then recover this. The legs just, uh, you know, screw on. Um, and then it's just got this plain backing on it. That's easy. So I'll paint the legs and then cover that. So I may go ahead and show that to you down the line. Um, it was only $3. Now people were asking about, have been asking uh, in our area, Ohio is an area that has bed bug, has had um, bed bug issues in the past. This is the tag that uh, secondhand places, including thrift stores, will spray. And then they put the tag with the date that it was sanitized. So this just says, under penalty of law, this tag is not to be removed by the consumer. Secondhand material contents unknown, and it is sprayed. There's the address. That's the second store I go to in Cleveland. So yeah, so I'll take that off. I will recover this and probably put it in my booth for probably $16 to $18, I would guess. Not too bad. Needs a little bit of work. Um, last things I have are these tops. Um, it's funny, when I start to find one or two, I'm like, hmm, looks like somebody cleaned their closet out. So these are all in very good condition. This one is a woman within, I believe it is a 5X. It was $3.50. It's just kind of a plain, real soft t-shirt material, uh, red t-shirt. Has short sleeves, but they have this cute little, you know, stretchy uh, detailing on the sleeve, which I thought was adorable. This is a torrid mesh crop top, so it is shorter. Um, it is a size 5, and it was $3.50. Um, these next three are all Catherine's, and they are all 4X. I believe they are short sleeve. I'll try and look before I fold them. Uh, this one is a three-quarter. This one, I believe, is three-quarter or long sleeve, and that one is two. So this one has kind of that batik look with this little bit of metal studding. It's a navy blue. That one was $3.75. This one was two and a quarter. It's like a t-shirt material. Uh, it looks like a weird color. It's like a I don't know, like a royal blue with the black. That looks a little bit better. It's a little darker than what you're seeing. And then this one is uh, like a plum purple with the little metal studding. I have my flash on. I'm not sure why or my light on, so I apologize. That one was $3.75. So again, these are all 4X. This one's a 5, and this one is a 5. Woman Within is the brand on that one. So... That is all that I picked up this morning. Um, didn't do too bad. It was very cold, so standing out waiting for the doors to open is no fun. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this small haul. I will see you guys next time. Have more videos coming up, uh, some different places. I'm going to be going to an auction, and I plan on going to price drop soon. So hopefully I will have a uh, video for you on my haul on that. So again, thank you for stopping in, seeing what I got. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.